Hey guys, Mark Fresh, Pro Tech Dog Training and Gunzo. Hup. There you go. Hup. Hup. There you go. Hup. Good boy. Hup. Good boy. 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 Good the tricky part with him was first he would try to get up over the seats and he would be all clumsy because he's never done it. Yeah. Good. And now he's jumping on it. You see the confidence and the joy coming from it because that creates pride and consistency, pattern, routine. He gets really comfortable with it. He knows what he's supposed to do. That's where you're fulfilling the dog's psychological needs. A lot of times stuff like this, people don't think of it as training. But reality and truth, you're asking the dog to do something. You're asserting your dominance in respect to making him do something he may not like. A lot of food, a lot of motivation to get there. When he wins, a lot of praise, and he understands what you want. And that's what it's all about with a dog, is pleasing you and doing what you want in a routine and a pattern. There's uh, a lot of fulfillment and in the psychological psychology of a dog when you do things the right way. So, that's a little hop, hop. Notice now, he's not halfway there and leaning on it. He's there, he's confident. Yeah. Nope. Good. Yep, come on. Up. Good. Let's go. Up. Come on, come on. Up. Come on, don't sit. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's on the way to the. Push-ups, hop, down, go down. Nope, nope. Underneath the body, tap, tap, tap. Boat's here, and then good for the center. I don't have any food right now, but that's the idea. Yeah. Yep. Down, go, go. Down, go. Up. Good boy. Sit. Good. Easy. Easy. Down. Good boy. Good. All right. So he's doing very good with his um evolution within the work that is starting to show the dog is becoming more and more balanced understanding what I want of him so we've got some other things to work on as he gets towards his end of his training down good which is a lot of the protest behavior a lot more work on the impulse control teaching the weight pay attention to my guidance and what I'm asking of him yep good boy good good boy good boy good so I'll do a little bit of that now. We're going to flow him with it. He expects it to happen right away. Nope. I'm going to ask him to sit. Good, good. Gunzo. Good, Gunzo. Up. Notice he's having to wait. Dog's name first, preparatory to a command. Teaches the dog to pay attention, to watch. That impulse control is very important, especially with a dog like this that has none, right? That's where the, all this aggression is coming from or manifesting in those areas of a lack of impulse control really the crux of everything is relationship dynamic with the owner and that's going to be the hardest part they have to deal with when we get them back to the owner they've got to be committed to drive through and really put the work in to learn and grow yep and the thing is you got to remember i've got 30 years experience they don't so it's going to be hard for them to learn be like me playing guitar and i'm all over the place with the guitar making beautiful music i sit down with a student how long is it going to take for that student to learn to play that piece that guitar as well as i can Right? That's all this is, is skills. It's ability to be able to read the dog, do what I'm doing. There is no magic pill. It takes work. Yep. All right. Put him on the table. Thank you. Up. Down. Stay. Good. You stay. Good. Okay, I'm down, stay. And we're going to start doing more of those. Impulse control. Learning to relax, chill out. His brain is now going to different places based on me fulfilling the dog's psychological needs towards my relationship with the dog. A dog has been bred to be man's best friend. He has a lot in him that is about fulfilling the psychological needs of the animal. It's about a dominance. And when I say dominance, it doesn't mean I need to out. Down. Nope. Down. Good. Stay. Chattering on purpose because he's going to break because he thinks he's free when I'm busy doing something else, right? Good. Good. Gunzo. Good. Nope. Look at you, look at you. Down. A dog that couldn't even jump to save his life when he started, and now you're doing it from the ground up. That's good. Stay. Good. It should have been a no, so my voice tone should have went, nope. 
And that's what we missed. And he didn't, he kind of spaced on it. He's, you see that worried look when I came at him? You got to teach him that that doesn't mean I'm going to correct him just because I come at him, right? Good. Stay. Good. All right, Mark Farashi, Pro Tech Dog Training. And Gunzo is doing very good. He's got a lot of work to go. And then what I'm really worried about is that owner getting off the couch and putting in the work because the owner is what's caused all this. Whether she realizes it or not, which is ignorance, she doesn't understand, that's my job, to try to teach, educate, but she has to do the job of getting off the couch and being determined to learn and grow and do what it takes to get to that stage. That's up to her, right? Yep, good boy, sit. Good, be easy, be easy. All right, Mark Farashi, Protect Dog Training and Gonzo, signing out. Have a good day, guys.